Hi guys, Alexi coming at you with this week's installment of Retro Gaming Goodness. The 80s was a different, simpler time. While it wasn't that much quieter, the games weren't as loud and bombastic as the ones we have nowadays. Still, there was beauty in its simplicity, and that's what made it more badass. You'll see what I'm talking about. From ports to unreleased prototypes, modern technology gives us a sneak peek at how things were back in the good old days. Since we're all about retro here, it's about time you buckled up because we're taking a ride back in time to take a look at a few more classics. But before that, make sure to like and subscribe so you'll always be up to date with the latest retro news. Click that bell icon so you'll know exactly when our news goes live. Let's go! First up, we got the classic Atari game Missile Command, which now finally has a decent port. AR61 and team just released an improved version of the game for the Amstrad CPC Plus and GX4000, and it looks really good. To coat AR61 for 50th year birthday of Atari, and as a tribute to one of my first hood childhood game on Atari 2600. Well said and well done. It's about time one of the all-time Atari classics got some modern TLC, and it's great that both old fans and newcomers can get a taste of some Missile Command action. If Missile City defense and a lot of action are right up your alley, then it's best to keep an eye out for this awesome port. If you've played or even heard of Eye of the Beholder, then you know what a good game is all about. Andreas Larsson has been hard at work on a port for the C64 and C128. And if you fall in love with the game on PC, we're sure that you're one of the many who are waiting for an update. Well, you need not wait any longer, because the port is finally here. A well-timed surprise along with some nice video footage to show us just how great it turned out. It's a nice classic first-person experience, but with more colors, higher resolution, 16-bit graphics, and updated versions of all the monsters you've come across way back. Everything from the combat animations down to the damage indicators have been implemented smoothly. Very nice. Marker 64 gave his thoughts on the game recently, and it was all praise. Quote, the game is just as brutal, but rewardingly satisfying to progress as it always has been. Whether you're a hardcore fan who can walk through the whole game blindfolded, or a dungeon crawler newbie curious as to why this game is considered one of the best ever dungeon crawlers, I think you will not be disappointed. I think that pretty much describes this port to a T. Eye of the Beholder is one classic game you wouldn't want to miss, and now that everyone has access to it, there's no reason to not give it a spin. Last but not least, we move on to what we consider a classic living legend. No matter how many times newcomers mistake Link for the titular princess, the Legend of Zelda franchise is and will be a series that keeps on going. Tukinem just unveiled what appears to be the unfinished prototype of Zelda, which is fully playable on the Commodore Amiga. While he says he was overwhelmed by the sheer size of this game, including all of its features, he still came up with a nice, nostalgic piece of art. It's still very much in development as Tukinem is still in the process of writing code. There's also a chance that it might not be completed altogether due to, well, the powers that can be. Still, there's a working, downloadable version of what's already been finished. So if you're a Zelda fan who can't get enough of the legend, it's best to check out this cool prototype. There you have it, your weekly retro news. If you have suggestions on news to cover or if we missed anything, let us know down below. As always, don't forget to like the video so YouTube's algorithm shows us some love. Again, I'm Alexi, and I'll catch you all again next time.